so much pressure on where you have to be at a certain age. Hey you guys, what is up? So I'm just about to leave the house to go get tested. My car literally smells like booty cheeks right now because somebody left their stinking food in the back and it wasn't me obviously, like I don't sit in the back. And now my car smells like literal shit because there was rotten food sitting here and I had no idea. So I don't know how to get rid of this smell. Like it's disgusting. Like I feel like puking right now. So I need to get some sort of air freshener. I think what I'm gonna do today if I can when I get back is like clean my car, just like spray it down with like cleaner or something just to help get the smell out but anyways we're gonna stop and get a coffee i'm wearing my tommy hilfiger sweater i haven't worn this in so long i thrifted this a while ago but i love it because it like kind of gives me like the christmasy vibes yeah so that's the agenda i have like a whole kind of list of things like errands that i need to run when i'm on the way back so y'all are gonna come along with me for that yesterday by the way oh my goodness i okay I got my period like a couple days ago and I was absolutely like dying like I was dead like there was no reviving me like I was dead okay and then the next day I felt like shit like absolute shit and then today is the third day and I still don't feel 100% like I still feel like shit but it's like not as bad as it was thank god oh my goodness I'm supposed to be posting a video today but that's just not gonna happen because like I couldn't get any footage over the weekend because I was literally dead um so I'm making the vlog today today's Monday and I'm gonna be posting this tomorrow because I'm st I still want to get a vlog up um, at the beginning of the week. So anyways, if you guys struggle with like a, a mosquito in my car, ew. Um, if you guys struggle with bad periods, like I feel your pain. Like I'm gonna go see a naturopath because like no, no doctor prescribed pain meds work for me. Like nothing works for me. So I'm gonna go see like a naturopath and like I don't know try and heal it more naturally. But it's just like if you guys have bad period cramps, like I feel you. Like I'm so sorry. Like it's just like I feel like it's very like people don't realize how much it could affect a woman's life and you know like it's like you can like, like for example me like if i had a regular nine to five job i would not be able to go in the days that i have it like there's no way like i'd be taking sick days every single month and like it sound like someone would like maybe a man or like someone who hasn't experienced cramps before would say something like oh like she's just like milking it but like no like if you don't like go through it you don't know what it feels like, like it is it is disgustingly horrible so if you guys suffer with like the same pain i'm so sorry but anyways let's get going Okay guys, this is kind of a monumental moment because I'm actually picking up my coffee at Blends Coffee because there's a Blends Coffee in like my area and I don't like really know of any other like coffee shops, like just like little like, I know one but it's more like they sell a lot of shit too so it's not like just a coffee shop. But the only one that I've been going to like literally my whole life is Starbucks. I've never, I don't think stepped foot in this coffee sh like this blends coffee shop before so you know what i'm like why not try it because starbucks got rid of their gingerbread latte and blends coffee i saw on their website that they have it i'm pretty sure it like got advertised to me on like instagram or something so i was like you know what why not give it a go why not give my money to some other um coffee company other than starbucks because it's literally all that i do so let's try it i'm so excited i think i'm just gonna get like a hot drink i was debating if i should get an ice but i think I actually still haven't made my mind up yet about that, so we'll see. Okay, so I got it. I got a gingerbread latte iced um, with oat milk, so I'm so excited to try this. Honestly, I really like the cups. Like, I think that they're so cute. Kind of like them better than Starbucks's. Like, I don't know what it is about them, but they just look so cute. Okay, first impressions. Mmm. That is really good. Mmm, okay. Okay, I see blends. I don't know. This tastes like the Starbucks's oat milk, like the barista one. They might use the same oat milk, which I love because it tastes so good. But yeah, that's actually so good. It doesn't taste like Starbucks's gingerbread latte that they had last year, but it tastes like really good anyways. So might be coming here more often. The only thing is, is I thought that it was going to be cheaper than Starbucks, but it was literally like the same price, maybe a little more. So I was really shocked about that. Now I got to put in the address because we're going to go. Oh my God, we're literally only 15 minutes away from here. That's amazing. Okay, let's get going. So I just got out of Walmart. That was like kind of hectic. 
it was kind of busy like i don't know like i feel like it's just the holidays like it's literally a monday right now i don't know why it would be busy but i just want to give you guys a quick haul before i go to the dollar store i got some dry shampoo and i'm not gonna let madison touch this because she literally like you guys have part all already probably heard she literally like drinks this stuff so i'm hiding this from her and i they finally had the, my favorite pimple patches in stock these are the ones that i use so i bought two of them they're only five dollars each which is, which is so good you probably have them on amazon too but i love these ones and they were literally out of stock with them for like a few weeks and then i also got this everyday detox tea i really wanted to try this because some people are like it made my it makes like my skin glow and everything so i'll give you guys like an update on how this works but um i love having tea at night or like some hot drink so i really wanted to try this everyday detox because my mom like buys this brand of tea it's called traditional Medi medicinals my mom already buys this brand but she's never bought this one before so i'm excited to try it and i just got a bunch of like red shirts for the guys in my family because we all do like a matching Christmas moment pajama thing around Christmas time so they just needed some shirts to go along with their black pants that they're gonna get got that done and yeah so I'm gonna go to the dollar store because I want to pick up a few things I'll talk more about that later but anyways let's go so I literally just got home and I went to the dollar store you'll see why in like one of the next few clips because I'm gonna do a little bit of a change in my frames in my room I know I'm so bipolar then but I'll talk about that later anyways while I was driving I was kind of in my thoughts and I just wanted to do a little um, moments with Michaela um, I haven't done one of these in a while so I just wanted to ooh, quickly set up the camera here and talk to you guys why is that chair broken what the heck but I just wanted to quickly say because I feel like this is so important I think I've like made a whole video on this before I've talked about this lots on my channel but I just wanted to address it again and it's just the fact that like you don't need to be anywhere like society tells you like oh at age um 18 you graduate school and then you go to university at age 25 you have to be married and have your first kid um you have to have a nine to five job you have to be at work every day and blah 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 like society tells you so many things that you have to do and it like creates a mold for you and it almost like takes away your your like own sense of self and um how you're supposed to truly blossom if that even makes sense i know that's like very cheesy but it's true like society expects people to go to school and to stay in school like even if you don't like it they it's a like society puts that pressure on you like oh you're not going to be successful if you don't go to school and they make like following your dreams of what you actually want to do they make it like so scary and they're like oh you're gonna like fail and all this stuff and it's like they try and scare you into being this perfect mold and it's like you don't like you're on your own journey in life and you just have to remember always remember that that like don't ever feel like you're behind anybody else because it's impossible to be behind on your own journey in life because if you're 25 years old and uh, you're like don't have that traditional university degree you're not like settled down like married or have wanting to have kids yet like that is okay like that is completely fine and should be like normalized that not everybody is going to follow that traditional route of like doing university and then going to work a nine to five right after it's like you don't have to do that like do what you want to do because like society makes you think that that's the only thing that's going to work out for you and that's the only thing that's going to give you a good future and you have to do that but like that's not true like school first of all <clears throat> is not made for everybody like it's really not like nothing is made for everyone playing basketball not everybody's naturally talented at basketball not everyone's gonna like to play basketball so you can't force somebody to join basketball this is just an example but like it goes the same like for school not everybody's gonna like school not everybody's gonna want to do school and like that is okay that should not be looked down upon um if you don't like because I, if you guys don't know like i went to university for one year and i just like did not like it i did not like find I did not see like a future in it for me because what I wanted to do had nothing to do with school. I wanted to go a more creative route and do this and you know follow my intuition and follow my dreams pretty much. Um, it wasn't hard for me to do that honestly because I just like for some reason I just knew that's what I needed to do in that moment but what was hard about it was like the looks and the reactions that I would get when I would tell people that like I was leaving school it's like oh when you're gonna go back like do you have a plan and blah 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 it's like not everybody is meant to be in school like we're all different we're all unique and we're all born to do different things on in this life in this earth so if, like going to school and it's not for you then you don't need to go like there's just 
so much pressure on where you have to be at a certain age in your life and there's so much societal pressure on you have to do be at this stage in your life at this age you have to do this by this age and it's like that's why so many people feel so lost it's because they're like oh shit well um i didn't reach that by that age like oh i'm just, like then they don't feel normal but it's like no like that's not the way it's supposed to be like everybody is on their unique journeys and everybody um is unique everybody is going to be doing something different and like it's not normal it's not natural for everybody to do the same thing you know so i just wanted to say that like wherever you're at in your life if you feel like you're behind um in comparison to other people or in comparison to society don't feel that way like that's not true because that's just like what society wants you to think and that's what and how it makes you feel but in reality it's not true like you can't be behind in your own journey because like you're consider it like every single human being on this planet has their own journey like you can't draw out every single person's journey and like give them a rubric like that's not how it works like, that, technically that's what society has done but like that's not natural uh, because everybody's on their di own different path everybody's on their own different journey and you just have to realize that wherever you're at in your life like that's a part of your journey and that's a part of what's meant for you um so yeah i just wanted to say that quickly because like there's so much pressure like um especially like around like the age that i'm hitting now is like i'm 21 and it's like i'm supposed technically supposed to be graduating with a degree this would be like my fourth year of university and it's like i'm not at school like you know what i mean so it's like when i tell people that it's like i see their reaction on their face it's like eh, like they don't like it it's like okay like fight me what are you gonna do about it like it's so just like stuck in people's brains that's like oh you have to do a b c d and then you'll be happy but that's not true like that's not gonna make everybody happy like oh like you're on your own freaking journey and just please remember that because um i just wanted to say like follow your intuition it's so important and don't ever feel behind because it's impossible for you to be behind on your own journey like it's your own life okay it's not a rubric it's your own journey and your own path and your own life like do what you want to do um and follow your heart okay follow your heart follow your intuition um i know this sounds really cheesy but it's like so true oh god i have to go inside i still literally have a quarter of my coffee left i'm still gonna drink it but this is like bigger than starbucks a hundred percent like a grande at starbucks this is like a medium um this is like a lot bigger because i have been so long to drink this and usually starbucks drinks i can drink really fast yeah i really like it actually it's so good i've been listening to bryson tiller like it's called a different christmas it's like his christmas album if you didn't know he came out with one that is it and i really like the song with justin bieber in it it's so good it's a little um christmas music suggestion for you guys i feel so christmasy in this right now like i'm loving it okay anyways i'm gonna go inside now and um yeah i'm gonna pick up the camera in a sec so okay guys so i am now back home i don't know if i picked up the camera yet i don't think so but what i did is i just cleaned my car because like i said it was literally smelling like booty cheeks like i'm not even kidding you it smelled so freaking bad so what i did was i just like i didn't vacuum it because it was raining so like i you can't really vacuum a car when it's raining or else your car's gonna get all wet like the inside so what i did was i just like took an all-purpose cleaner and i went like throughout my car and just wiped everything down to make it smell good and then i put some essential oil in there so hopefully that makes it smell better and it like airs out because it's just so disgusting and i honestly hate having a dirty car like it's like when you drive like it affects like your mood i don't know what it is but like when i get into my car and if it's like dirty or like smelling bad i'm like ew like this is disgusting like you just don't want to be in it it's like my room like i hate when my room gets messy anyway so i bought four po poster bowl boards oh my god i cannot speak um and my plan is to change the brown out for the white i mean change the yeah change the brown out for the white so i want to replace these frames i mean what's in them and put white because this just like doesn't go with the vibe of my room right now and i just want to make everything like clean and classy and white and just like i don't know i just i just really it looks like way darker in person like it looks more yellowy and i don't really like it so that's what we're gonna do um i think i might keep the quotes and then just put like a white backdrop behind them yeah honestly i'm thinking about getting a tv here because i just haven't been happy with anything that's been in the frame so far so i'm thinking of getting a tv because like my bed is right here so it kind of lines up perfectly with like this side of my room so let me know what you guys think my dad thinks it would be a waste of money because we have like several tvs in this house but i don't know like it would just kind of be a vibe to have a tv in my room so so let me know what you think i should do because 
if you guys have been like subscribed to me for a while and you have been watching my videos for a while you know that like I change these picture frames out so often because I never know what to put in them like I don't know I just haven't been happy with anything so I don't know I just kind of want a TV so maybe on boxing day when they go on sale when everything goes on sale again because I didn't like look on Black Friday but maybe on boxing day if I can get a good deal for a TV because it kind of has to be a big one because like there's a big wall there so I don't want to get like a tiny TV for a huge wall so it would have to be like a good decent big size also because my bed is kind of like it's not like that close to it so you want it to be big um so let me know what I should do because I can't decide for shit also, I'm using my little camera right now because the battery's charged in this one. Anyways, let's switch out the frames. I hate doing this. It's a very vigorous process. Okay, so I just changed the frames. Here they are. You can see them in the corner there. I just still don't like them. I don't know what it is, but I think I just want to put a TV there because nothing that I put there, I'm very, like, I don't love it. Like, I just don't love it. And this is my room and I want to love it. You know what I mean? So if you're an interior designer or you have any ideas please let me know if there's anything you would recommend other than a tv just like i just don't know what to do with this big gigantic wall like i just don't know what to do with it i don't know what to do with the frames like if they, i think they gotta go anyways so my room is kind of like it's not like a pigsty but it just has like i just have like random stuff everywhere this is like clean laundry that i haven't put away yet and this is just like shit that needs to go and then, and then in the corner here i have all my christmas gifts that i need to wrap so we're gonna do that soon for a vlog so don't worry but i'm just waiting to do that so yeah i'm just gonna tidy this up real quick and i'll be back So I'm currently just about to get ready because we spontaneously are just about to go to this place near me. It's called the Farge Lake and we're just going to go walk around. It's like a lake with and they set up a whole bunch of lights around the lake. So it's super pretty and we're just about to go spontaneously do that. The only thing is, is I think it's literally freezing, freezing booty cheeks outside. So I'm just going to check the degrees because I feel like I'm going to wear this and I have sweatpants on. But I'm like debating if I should put on like something underneath here to make it warmer um because i just want to throw my parka on i mean like my super puff on but i don't know if that's going to be like warm enough okay what i'm going to do is i'm literally going to add this black um just literal shirt it's like really soft and i'm just going to add this as an under layer for my bigger sweater when this goes on top you won't even be able to see it and then it'll keep me it's just like an extra layer and like you can't even see it underneath so it's perfect the sweater is so cute like it's just such a good thrift find i also didn't even show you guys but i cleaned my room up so basically i just like tidied i still have my christmas gifts in the corner but those are gonna leave soon and then um yeah i basically just tidied the floor and then here i tidied up all my clothing and now we have a free floor and what i did here is before i used to have um something else here it was like purses that i didn't even use so i just like donated some purses i didn't use and i put some away just in the boxes that the like just the purses that i don't use every day and then now i get to store my toques and then my hats here so that it's like more convenient because these used to be in this box over here so now that they're here it's like perfect and so convenient because then i can just like grab one and go i don't need to like get a box so so yeah, I love the new setup. Okay, so I just um, layered up a little more. I put a two gown because I'm like, you know what? Gotta keep the head cold. And then I just zipped up my jacket because I already know that it's gonna keep me way warmer like that. So yay, now we're gonna be warm for sure. Hopefully. Okay, let's go.
just got back from the lights. I'm so tired though. Um, it was like so nice. They have them like set. They have them like set up around that lake every Christmas and it's so nice. It's just like free and you can just walk. So it's like, I can't wait to get my nails done. I'm going to book an appointment, but I'm going to get gel extensions. I'm going to get them, I think, next week. So I'll vlog it and everything, but I decided on getting them done. Anyways, I'm going to get ready for bed. I've been using like my cellar water, just like the regular like army, like my cellar water that everyone like literally everyone uses to take off my makeup. But I've been like really wanting to try a cleansing balm. But I just don't know which one to get. Like, if you guys have any suggestions for cleansing balms, please leave them down below. Because, um, I don't know. I just want to try something different to remove my makeup and see, like, if I like it better. I mean, this is okay, but I just don't like how I have to use, like, cotton pads with this. I would rather just, like, use a balm and then wash it off. And then just use a towel and not, like, have to, you know, keep buying and wasting cotton pads for that. So, let me know. So, it's been, like, my new obsession of, like, I'm getting ready here. Taking a shower. I just like to have this candle lit i think this is i don't know i got this as a gift i didn't think it might be bath and body works but this is what it's called and it smells so good and it's just like you know how like bathrooms can just like not be the best smelling if you light a candle in your bathroom it'll make it like just feel so luxurious and it's literally been my new obsession and it just like suits the vibe when you're getting ready for bed or when you're in the shower i don't know i just literally love it it's my new obsession <laughs> 